Well, hey there, book lovers. I have been teasing you for the last couple of months that I have a brand new steampunk retelling coming out this spring. And today I finally get to share the news. So I jumped on for a surprise live broadcast to tell you all about my new steampunk retelling. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited for this. You guys have been guessing for weeks and weeks and no one has guessed correctly except for my little sister. So here we go. I'm going to tell you what steampunk retelling I have spun into a brand new series. I'm so incredibly excited for this one, guys. Steampunk meets Aladdin. And how timely with the brand new Disney movie coming out in just a few months as well. I am so incredibly excited. We are going to be talking all about my brand new Stealing Steam series today. I am dropping all three titles plus all three covers in this trilogy. And they all come out this spring. So you don't even have to wait a long time to get the entire Steampunk Aladdin story. I'm so incredibly excited. Readers have been calling this perfect for fans of Ready Player One. Cinder, Mortal Engines, Etiquette and Espionage. So if you are a fan of any of these stories, you are going to love, love, love what we have in store for you in the Stealing Steam series. So are you guys ready? Do you want to hear a little bit more about these? The first thing I want to do is drop all the titles and then we are doing our cover reveal. So you can see we've got our beautiful cogs to the side here. We've got uh, our smoke going on here. We've clearly got a lamp over here and books over here, but I'm going to give you a close-up look at the covers in just a second. I'm so excited as we jump in for our title reveal. Are you guys ready for this one? I love these. I'm so excited for these. Book number one is called Lions and Lamps, and I am so thrilled by this title because it's actually very heavily influenced by my hometown. In fact, my hometown was the site of the first steam locomotive in the United States. I'm going to tell you guys a bit more about that in another broadcast and some other videos. I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look of everything you need to know for Lions and Lamps before it comes out. But uh, I'm really very excited with how this turned out and how it was influenced by my hometown and some of the really cool things that happened here. Now, the second book in this series is called Pistons and Prisoners. I'm so excited for this one. I can't wait for you guys to see this. And then the third book in this series is called Rare Rail Cars and Rulers, uh, which I almost always stumble over. But I'm so excited for you guys to see the Stealing Steam series. And if you are here, if you're excited for Steampunk Aladdin, let me know down in those comments below. We're going to be chatting about it just a little bit today. And then over the next couple of days and weeks, I'm going to be giving you some more in-depth looks at some of the characters, some of the behind the scenes, some of the history that's gone into it. I'm very, very excited for this. And obviously, this is a fantasy steampunk retelling. I'm very excited for it. we got some magic going on in this one. And I cannot wait for you guys to see what is happening inside of steampunk Aladdin. I am so excited for this. So are you guys ready? We're going to do our triple cover reveal right now. We are going to reveal what these babies look like. So give me a shout out if you are absolutely loving on these covers. And I am going to remove the things from the screen so that you can see all of these beautiful covers. Check those out. So book number one is called Lions and Lamps. I am so excited for this, and those are really important things within the story. The second book is called Pistons and Prisoners, and oh, so pretty, right? And the last one is Rail Cars and Rulers. I cannot wait for you guys to experience the Stealing Steam series. So do you love these covers? Let me know. If you're loving on those cogs, on the different lamps, if you take a look, here's a little exclusive you're not going to get anywhere else but if you look at the covers for this series they're actually very telling of where the series is going so we've got a lamp we've got a bottle and we've got a third type of lamp and uh, obviously some stuff's going on in that third cover as well so once you start reading this story you are going to kind of see the progression through what is happening in this series and you can kind of guess just a little bit of where it's going um, so Jennifer is here saying they're gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, Alyssa is here saying gorgeous. And she's also saying, I think they're my favorite covers of yours so far. Well, thank you. I'm super excited for these covers too. I really like the, uh, shiny cogs and gears on there and the lamps are super pretty. And if you actually look really closely at the lamps and the bottles on the covers, you can see how steampunk they actually are. They're very much covered in cogs and gears and all sorts of shiny extra bonus steampunky things. And I'm just uh, so excited about this. Um, 
So if you guys have questions about the series, I would love to get those answered for you. We're going to be chatting a little bit more about this for just a minute or two because I want to give you guys a quick kind of highlight of what we're looking for. And I'm actually going to be reading the blurb for Lions and Lamps to you while we're on air. And then later this week on Friday, I'm going to be jumping in and giving you some character information because this was actually based on the original versions of Aladdin. So not the Disney version. But back in the day, did you know, here's a fun fact. This is a very fun fact. Aladdin was not actually in Arabian Nights. It was not actually in the original version of Arabian Nights before it was added to Arabian Nights by a translator. It was actually a Chinese story. It took place in China. It's such a very interesting twist on this story that a lot of people don't know about. So while I have stuck kind of to the uh, Arabian-ish vibes for this. I actually pulled a lot from the original Chinese version where it was um, a relative of, of Aladdin's that tried to trick him. He was actually a lazy boy who lived with his mother. Um, not that my Aladdin's lazy, but he does live with his mother. And uh, there's a lot going on here that I pulled from that original Chinese version and then the version that they put in Arabian Nights. And so you're going to meet uh, Aladdin and Sira, who is my princess Jasmine version of that, um, because obviously Jasmine is specific to Disney, but it's got a very interesting twist on my princess. So I'm very, very, very excited for you to meet Sira. Uh, and then some of the other characters as well, including my genie. Might be a little secret going on with that one, uh, but I cannot wait to tell you guys more. So if you've got questions, go ahead and drop those down below. And I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're excited for this series, if you're excited for Stealing Steam, if you're excited for Steampunk Aladdin, hit the share button. That tells Facebook that I'm doing something awesome, kicks it out to more people, which means more people are going to learn about Steampunk Aladdin here, and we're going to be able to do really cool things with the series. I do have major things planned for this. A lot of bonuses, a lot of bonus content. There's going to be a game, an interactive choose-your-own-adventure game that you can play. I'm going to be announcing in the not-too-distant future. Uh, there's going to be ways to get some bonus scenes. There's going to be a way to read some of it in advance. I'm just so excited. There's so much good stuff coming out with this book. And the more you help me share it, the better I am going to be able to do more extra things for you. So hit the share button now because that helps me out and enables me to do more steampunk awesomeness. All right. Now, before we get into reading the blurb, I do want to let you guys know that Lions and Lamps comes out April 9th, and the entire series is coming out this spring. So you don't even have to wait a very long time to find out what happens inside of this trilogy. We are going to be jumping in in April, and then we are going to be knocking out the next couple. Uh, the plan is to do it April, May, and June. We'll see how my editor is doing on that, um, but it's going to be really, really good. It's all coming out this spring, and I'm very, very excited for you guys to meet Aladdin and Sarah and some of these other characters as well. So are you guys ready? Do you want to hear the blurb? Let me pull this up for you guys so that you can read along with me. This is available for pre-order right now. It's going to be in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. The ebook is up right now on Amazon. I think it's up on Barnes & Noble. Pretty sure it's up on Kobo and possibly a couple other places. It did just go to the distributors uh, yesterday. So some of them are still kind of processing the files and it'll be up in the next couple of days. So it's, if it's not on your favorite vendor yet, it will be in the next couple of days. And right now the uh, printed, the physical versions are with the printers and they just have to approve them. And then those will be up for pre-order as well. So are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and let's actually take a look at the blurb. Let me pull this up on my screen. And this is the Amazon page. I wanted to show you guys uh, how that looked, that it was up there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to read this for you guys. So Aladdin meets steampunk in this brand new retelling from Cam Robinson. All wishes require sacrifice. Are you willing to pay the price? Sira spent the last seven years being trained to steal an airship in a brutal competition that leaves the victor with millions. Last year, she won. Aladdin spent the past year fighting to get enough money to take his mother away from her Allen after his father was murdered. Now his evil uncle, Uncle Casper, wants to force him into the competition and straight to his death inside the collection cave. When Aladdin discovers a genie said to have been banished a century ago, the competition becomes even deadlier, and he knows he can't trust the girl who snuck into the competition this year. But Sira might not survive his ruthlessness either in a game where only the lion's heart can win. All wishes require sacrifice, and someone is going to pay the price for the store bridge. 
So I'm really excited for this one. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on in there. It's got some serious Ready Player One vibes because we are going on this mission to steal an airship. And last year, Sira, who is my princess, stole the Empress. She won it in this brutal competition. But this year, Aladdin is now involved. Last year, he wasn't. His father was murdered. He didn't even know it existed until recently. And now we are going after the store bridge. And whoever manages to steal this gigantic airship is going to just pretty much be the richest person in Horalan. They get to do all sorts of fun, fabulous, wonderful things. And they're on a mission. So Aladdin has a reason for being on this mission to go get this steamship. And Sira has a reason to go get this airship. But Sira also has to do it undercover because she's not technically allowed to be involved for... Uh, her sponsor. So she is actually the adopted daughter of the governor who brought her in from the streets and trained her to steal the Empress last year. But she's not allowed to play for him this year. So she's going to sneak into this competition because she has her own motives. And it's it's really, it's just so interesting. I'm so excited. Uh, Jennifer's in the comments saying, this sounds so awesome. Love the wishes equal sacrifice. Oak. Listen, girl, listen. We are going to have a different wishes our hook for every single book and i'm so excited for this so we've got wishes require sacrifice and then in the second book wishes something else and then the third book wishes something else and none of it's good <laughs> there's always consequences for what's going on and so this book very much focuses on well what happens when you make that wish what what happens when you are asking for something when you make this wish you have to give up something else and wishes don't always work the way that we think that they're going to work. All wishes require sacrifice. They require giving up something else to get something. They all require doing something else in favor of doing something. I said that totally wrong, but you get what I'm going for. Um, I actually, I wish that I had the other blurbs up that I could tell you what they were, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. I could probably, while I'm babbling, let me see if I can pull that up, just because I really love where all of these wishes are going. It's so interesting. Um, there's a lot that's going on inside of this story. So I'm very, very excited because wishes, guys, wishes are not what we think they are. If you actually sit down and you start thinking, well, if I had this and if I had that, if I did this, if I did that, what am I giving up or what am I not able to do or what could possibly happen if I don't say it correctly? That's a huge deal within this story. What if I do not phrase my wish correctly? Could these weird other things happen? Okay, I've got it. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Um... All wishes require sacrifice, all wishes offer opportunity and recourse, and all wishes come with freedom and captivity. So there's a lot of interesting things going on with these wishes, and not everybody is who you think they are in this series. And so you're going to meet people in this series that you think you understand, you don't. You're going to meet people in the first book that you think you've got pegged down, but in the second book, you're going to learn you did not. You did not. In fact, by the end of the first book, you're going to look at people and be like, ooh, I thought this person was this way. They are not. So it's very, very interesting. I'm so excited for it, and I cannot wait for you guys to learn more about them. And like I said, on Friday, we are going to be jumping on with some character information. So I'm going to be showing you some artwork of some of these characters. We're going to be talking about their names. You can meet my Aladdin, my princess. You can meet uh, my villain or villains. You are going to be able to meet my genie. You're going to be able to meet some really interesting supporting characters. And we're going to be talking all about them on Friday. And of course, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. We're jumping on at 10 a.m. here on Facebook because we are doing uh, a Valentine's Day party. I'm going to be hanging out with Amber R. Duell and El Beaumont. Uh, J.M. Sullivan might be joining us. If we have other author friends who want to jump on and talk about book boyfriends and love, we would love to have you guys on. We're going to have a Valentine's Day tomorrow. I hope day party tomorrow. I hope you guys will join us 10 a.m. Eastern Standard, 7 a.m. L.A. time. Um, but really cool things are going on inside of this series, and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on a copy of this. Uh, it is available for pre-order right now. You can actually go to, and I didn't type this one out. I was so good about everything else. Lions and Lamps info .com. Got it. 
There we go. Lions and Lambs info .com, .com to pre-order right now. It'll kick you over and you can pick the platform that you want to get the ebook on. Like I said, the paperback and the hardcover are at the printers waiting to be approved. So once they approve those files, that will be out for pre-order as well. They will be in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. And I am so excited for this. If you if you maybe want an advanced copy, if you want to like read and review for me, I might be able to slip you a copy. I'm just saying. But there's some really cool stuff going on in Lions and Lamps that I cannot wait for you guys to read. Lions and Lamps, Pistons and Prisoners, and Rail Cars and Rulers. It is so good. And Friday, we're going to be talking all about the characters. Next week, I'm going to be dropping some of the history that has gone into this book. So I actually pulled a lot of history from my hometown, which was the site of the very first steam locomotive in the United States. We actually have a replica in our museum here. Yes, we've got a museum. Yes, I have been to see it. Uh, it's really very, very cool. And I've worked a lot of history and a lot of trivia into this story. And I put a lot of my hometown's um, test into this futuristic steampunk retelling of Aladdin. So I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, guys, let me know. Are you excited for Lions and Lambs to release in April? I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And it's going to be so dang good. Of course, you can learn more at kmrobinsonbooks.com. I have not set up the World Portal. In fact, I haven't actually put anything on the website about it yet, but I am over the next couple of days. Um, I wasn't expecting them to approve files so quickly. I thought I had a few more days to get stuff up there. But we're going to do behind the scenes. You're going to meet the characters. There's going to be a Choose Your Own Adventure interactive game where you can see if you can survive the collection cave. So this is actually a very interesting part of the story where... We've got this cave. It's kind of like a junkyard where Haraland has been throwing all of its trash for years and years and years. But not not like trash trash, more like scrap metal and things that if you walk into this cave and you try to pull something out of a pile, you'll cause a landslide and kill yourself because it'll slice you in half with a giant sheet of metal, kind of a cave. And so uh, our, our proprietor who has been um, doing this competition last year and this year has sent everyone into the collection cave to find something that they need to steal the Storebridge airship and get away with it before other people. It's a very dangerous part of this mission. He's sending them all over her Allen to do weird random things. And uh, it's, it is not easy to survive the collection cave. It's very, very dangerous. And the people who go into the cave also don't want you to win, so they will probably cause a landslide to kill you while you're in there. So it's not just your own bad choices, it's other people's bad choices too. Um, so we're going to play a game to see if you can make the right decisions and survive the collection cave. That's going to be out uh, probably in the next couple of weeks because I have to build it. It's a very intense process to build this game. But it is going to be up soon and I will let you guys know. And I want to know, are you guys excited for Steampunk Aladdin? Let me know down in those comments below. Thrilled to pieces with this. Um, I really do love how it turned out. I've been getting some great comments from the people who are reading it right now. They're loving on the genie. They're loving the take on my princess. I'm such a big fan of my princess. Like, Sarah's amazing. I just, I love what became of her because she's not your traditional princess. She is kind of the adopted daughter of pretty much the richest guy in her Allen right now. And uh, there's a lot going on in her past that really affects what she's doing inside of the story. So very excited for this. And I cannot wait to see what you guys think of Lions and Lamps. As always, you can come hang out with me at kmrobinsonbooks.com and at kmrobinsonbooks on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, IGTV, and YouTube. More fabulous videos are coming out on Lions and Lamps. And I'm going to be doing some author videos on this. So please jump into my comments, whether you're on the replay or on the live, and let me know what questions do you have? What do you want to see me answer about lions and lamps? I will be getting those answered. You can ask things about Aladdin. You can ask things about Syrah, about my genie. You can ask things about uh, Haralin in general, the city that they live in. You can ask about the steampunkiness. I actually have my some of my steampunk earrings on. And I've got my, you guys know I do a necklace for each of my stories. This is one of them for Lions and Lamps. It's actually a really cool uh, key with some steampunk cogs and gears going on there, which I'm really excited about. And this is actually part of the story. So once you are reading this, start looking for this key because it's in there and it's important. All right. Come hang out with me, social media. I would love to hear from you guys. I will be debuting this over on Instagram later this afternoon. I'll be dropping all of those covers for you guys so you can get a closer look at them. 
and I'll be answering questions over there this afternoon as well. And then over the next couple of days, we're going to be doing our Valentine's Day party. We are going to be doing our uh, character introductions. And the next week, we're going to be diving into some of the real life United States history that has gone into the Stealing Steam series. And I'm going to be answering your questions as we chat over the next couple of days and weeks about Lions and Lamps and the Stealing Steam series. I'm so excited to finally be able to tell you all about Steampunk Aladdin. It's been a while in the coming. And if you guys notice, I did have a hint on the bookshelves for the last couple of months for you guys. He's holding his little bread there, which I love. This has been a uh, a little teaser that I've put out and we've referenced him a couple of times over our live broadcasts and our videos that we've been doing. So I haven't given you guys hints. Cannot wait to see what you guys think. Let me know how excited you are for Lions and Lamps. And we will be chatting again really soon about Lions and Lamps and the entire Stealing Scene series. Um, and if you are interested in, you know, maybe doing some uh, early reading, let me know because cool things are happening. I will see you guys over on Instagram this afternoon. Uh, and let me know your best steampunk awesomeness. I was definitely planning on wearing my goggles, but I couldn't get them to stay on my head properly because I this is a brand new one. I just opened it up. And I just, it's not, it's not like my good pair. Next time. Next time we'll get out the top hats and all the fun, fabulous stuff. P.S. Wait until you see the fashion in this book. I'm so excited for it. All right, thanks for joining me, guys, as we celebrate the release of the Stealing Steam series. We've got some really cool stuff going on over the next couple of days and weeks here at KM Robinson on the author platform. And I cannot wait for you guys to be involved in that as well. If you want to help me out and you would love to take a Bookstagram-style photo of Lions and Lamps or any of the covers, because I am debuting them right now, we're going to be putting them out on social media later today, I would love to get you those covers so you can pop them on to your e-readers and get some fabulous pictures out there. So please let me know. Bonus points to you, and I might have some special extras for you if you do. Thanks, guys, so much for stopping by. We will chat again soon all about Steampunk Aladdin. Until then, you have a great day and stay inspired. Bye-bye.